Special thanks to Patreon supporter Koya for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft BAFTA to build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and blowing the Japanese aircraft carrier IJN Shokaku. Shokaku, which translates from Japanese Soaring Crane, was an aircraft carrier of the Imperial Japanese Navy, the lead ship of her class. Among with her, her sister ship Zuikaku, she took part in several key naval battles during the Pacific War, including the attack on Pearl Harbor, the Battle of the Coral Sea, and the Battle of Santa Cruz Islands before being torpedoed and sunk by a U.S. submarine at the Battle of the Philippine Sea. The Shokaku-class carriers were part of the same program that also included the Yamato-class battleships, no longer restricted by the provisions of the Washington Naval Treaty, which expired in December 1936, the Imperial Japanese Navy was free to incorporate all those key features they deemed more desirable in an aircraft carrier, namely high speed, a long radius of action, heavy protection, and a large aircraft capacity. Shokaku was laid down at the Yokosuka Dockyard on December 12, 1937, and launched on June 1, 1939, and commissioned on August 8, 1941. With an efficient modern design, a displacement of 32,000 long tons and a top speed of 34 knots, a Shokaku could carry 70 to 80 aircraft. Her enhanced protection compared favorably to that of contemporary Allied aircraft carriers and that enabled Shokaku to survive serious damage through uh, the battles of Coral Sea and the Santa Cruz Islands. So, yeah, really awesome uh, ship here, our second ever uh, Japanese uh, carrier and quite a really cool one. Um, this one's awesome, you get kind of a 2-in-1, so this design could also be used for the Zuikaku, um, so that's kind of cool there. Um, there are some versions of these two ships where they have a green kind of painted camo scheme. I decided to kind of not include that as it seemed to be kind of some parts of the war they did have it, other parts they didn't. Um, so if you want to, you can obviously look at those pictures online of the camouflages for both the Zuikaku and Shokaku and kind of choose if you do want to try to replicate that camo. For me, it just felt like it was just better to do kind of the traditional, you know, gray uh, scheme that most Navy ships kind of come in. Um, but before we go and jump in and take a look at this uh, tutorial or this build, I want to go and give special thanks to Patreon supporter Koya for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the video description of all my videos where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month in order for your core request to your choosing. Help support the work I do on my channel and is uh, greatly appreciated. Um, especially if YouTube's uncertain ad revenue and all that kind of stuff. So uh, again, feel free to check it out and the link is always in my video descriptions. Anyways, let's go ahead and kind of dive into taking a look here at the Shokaku. So starting off with, we have obviously the bow of the ship here, the iconic Japanese um, cre Imperial crest here on the bow of the ship. Uh, basically some anti-aircraft gun type designs, anchor systems, and you can see it kind of flows into this um, you know, bottom deck area, which was very common for uh, Japanese carriers. Um, as we flow back here along the starboard side of the ship, or the right side, we have anti-aircraft gun position, some heavier guns, and we have the conning tower itself. So a pretty small little conning tower. Uh, we also have the mast here, again more anti-aircraft guns, the funnels here, which again iconic for Japanese uh, ships to kind of come off the side here. Uh, more anti-aircraft batteries as we flow our way back along the side here, and then we get our uh, rear crane here. We then have our uh, back section here, so some more anti-aircraft gun positions, and we also have some uh, lifeboats there on the back. Uh, the flight deck itself, really cool design, uh, pretty simplistic and straightforward. Um, so you just got your lines there, the stone highlighting where the elevators would be, and um, all the deck markings, pretty accurate to what the Shokaku actually had. Um, kind of a step away from the iconic giant Japanese red circle, um, similar to the uh, Kaga had. Um, going ahead and moving on the left side of the ship, so port side, uh, we have a ton of anti-aircraft guns. So this is the main armament of anti-aircraft guns. Uh, basically runs all the way on the side here of the ship, as you can see, tons of them. Um, the really cool design of the Shokaku is they kind of have these like tarps or these like uh, awnings that kind of went over the AA guns along the side here. Not sure what it was exactly meant for. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool, so I tried to replicate it, and I think I actually did a pretty good job for um, using levers and a little bit of world edit. So um, looks really cool. Again, more anti-aircraft gun positions all the way along the side here, and um, that's pretty much the ship. So overall, really nice looking ship. Going to make an awesome addition to your bathtub build fleets. We just recently did Yamato, so this would be a good carrier to kind of build with it. 
and uh, we also did uh, Kaga not too long ago. Um, she's a bit old, but yeah, we did Kaga, so you get two Japanese characters now to add to your path to build fleets. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we're going ahead and start off with layer number one. Now for the first few layers here of the ship, we're going to be building basically half the layer on camera and then leaving the other half for you guys to copy over. Uh, for the first few layers, it's completely symmetrical on both sides and then we start to get into the differences and all that stuff where it does start to get a little confusing. So uh, just make sure that you're uh, paying close attention and for these first few layers, we're going to be going ahead and basically doing, you know, both sides. Um, or just one side and then copying the other side over. So to go ahead and get started with here, uh, if you do want to build this in the water, which I imagine a lot of you guys will want to, uh, we're going to want to make sure that this level that we're building this um, bottom of the basically hole here, uh, we want to make sure that this is at this level. So you can see here the blue concrete representing the water level, and then you can see the blocks here that were placed over this row. So just make sure that's correct when we start placing our blocks, because if you are either too high or too low, it's gonna not gonna, not going to sit properly in the water. To begin with, we're going to place down a row 3 of brick walls. After that, we're going to go and then take our red concrete, and we're going to go and do a long row red concrete going all the way down the center here. And this row in total is going to be 44 blocks long. From those blocks there, we're going to go ahead and then skip two spaces, and then place down two more red concrete blocks, just like that. And that right there is going to be the center line of your ship. Now going out to the sides, whatever we do on the sides here is going to be duplicated over to the left side. So as you can see, the left side is already built. We're going to build the right side up and then you're going to copy the, left, the right side over to the left side. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and place down a brick top side, which should be coming off the fourth red concrete block from the front here. So you can see here, this point. So this fourth red concrete block. We then want to go ahead and place down a brick upside down stair, followed by a second brick upside down stair, and then a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. Red concrete blocks back. We're going to go and then take our brick stairs. We're going to go and place down a row of 1 and 2. Brick ups down stairs and 2 brick top slabs back like that. After we have that all complete, we're going to go and then place down a end run. Come off the slab. Followed by a birchwood slab, just like that. Going ahead and going back up to the front here. We're going to go to the second, or sorry, the fourth red concrete block back again. We're going to place down a brick top slab. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a second top slab, followed by one and two red concrete blocks. We're going to go then place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Red concrete blocks back, followed by a brick up sound stair, and then two brick top slabs. We want to go and then grab ourselves some acacia wood signs, and on these two top slabs here, we're going to go and place down two acacia wood signs on the side. We then want to grab our end rods, we're going to place down one, two, and three. End rods going back, followed by a brick stair, and we're going to go and then place down a birch wood slab, just like that. And once you have that complete, again going back up to the front up here, we're going to go and go to this one, two, three, four, five, our six red concrete block back, we're going to place down a brick top slab on the side. Followed by a second one and then two upside down stairs. We're going to go and then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five red concrete blocks. And then one, two, three brick upside down stairs and then two brick top slabs. Just like that to go and finish that row off there on the outer side. And once we have that done, you're going to take that same design over here on the right side and flip it over to the left side. So looking at it from above here, you should have something that looks just like this here for the uh, hull of the ship to begin with. And that right there is going to complete what we have there for layer one. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two to begin with, we're going to go, and go to the front here. We're going to place down a brick wall on top of this one and a second one back from it. So you have two brick walls. We want to go and then place down a long row of red concrete that's going to go back and in total being 46 blocks in length. So from that brick wall all the way back here to this point, 46 blocks in total of red concrete. After we have that done, we're going to then place down a brick up sound stair, followed by a second brick up sound stair, and then a brick slab coming off the stair like so. On both sides of this up sound stair here, we're going to place down a acacia wood sign. We're going to go and then take our brick top slab, place down a top slab coming off the side of the stair, and then a brick up sound stair coming off that red concrete block. We're going to go and then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Uh, red concrete blocks forward and then one two three brick walls after we have that done we want to go and then go to the one two three and your fourth red concrete block and place down a wall to the side here and then one two three brick walls back we're gonna go and then place down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six and twenty seven red concrete blocks back and then two brick walls a brick or and then a row to a brick upside down stairs our next row out to the side here, we're going to go and go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, our 6 red concrete block here from the front. We're going to place down a brick wall, followed by 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 red concrete blocks, and then 1, 2, 3 brick walls. And after we have that complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for layer number 2. And you're going to take the same thing, transfer it over to the other side, and this is what your hole should look like for basically the uh, water line and everything below the water line. So anyways, that right there is going to do it there for layer number two. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number three. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a andesite wall on top of this brick wall, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks back. We're going to go ahead and go to the last three stone blocks and place down three andesite walls to the side here. And we're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks back. We're going to go ahead and then take our andesite walls in the last four blocks. We're going to place down four andesite walls coming off of them to the side. We then want to go ahead and take our stone blocks and we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone blocks back, followed by one, two, three andesite walls. We're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks again. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stone blocks, and then a row of one, two, and three andesite walls. We're going to go ahead and go to the space on the inside here of the walls. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 stone blocks. Followed by 1, 2, 3, and 4 andesite walls. And then we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 stone blocks back. Followed by a stone upside down stair. After that, behind the stone stair, we're going to place down an air stone block. And then come off the stone block, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair on the rear here. Now come off this stone stair on the rear, we're going to place down an item frame, and in that we're going to place down a crossbow, rotate it around like so. And we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a item frame, and we want to go ahead and place down a item frame, which is going to be coming off the side here of this stone full block. So an item frame here to the side, and a crossbow in it, rotate it around so it's facing that direction. We're going to go ahead and then take our dark oak buttons, and we want to go ahead and place down dark oak buttons here on the sides here of all these stone blocks, all the way along the side here. So, uh, actually, so on the right side here, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, a stone, a dark oak wood button here. Not on these blocks, however, we're going to place them down along this row, this row here, and this row up here. Now, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some skeleton skulls, and we're going to place down one and two, come off these two stone full blocks. Now, going over here to the left side of the ship, it's going to be slightly different. So, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak buttons on these three blocks here toward the bow. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of iron trapdoors. So the first one starting on this third uh, wall from the top, from the front. We're going to place down two, three back, and then a lever, which is going to be flicked upwards. We're going to go ahead and skip a space, and then place down two dark oak buttons. Then we're going to go ahead and go to this row. We're going to place down dark oak buttons all on these stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and then place down two dark oak buttons, a stone brick up sound stair, dark oak button, stone brick up sound stair, and then two dark oak buttons back. And then over here on this back section here, we have our dark oak button, our item frame of her crossbow rotated downwards like so. And that right there is going to basically do it there for what we have uh, on both sides. So you can tell that there is a slight difference. So um, I do recommend building the outline of the ship first and then going back and adding the two sides. As you can see, this is what we should have from up above here. And you can notice that we do have a difference here with the lever, the iron trap doors, and the stone brick upside down stairs there. So just make sure you're paying close attention to that. And um, I'll give you guys kind of a pick view here of both sides, so you can kind of take a time, pause it if you need to. So that's the that's the right side of the ship, and over here is the left side. So just make sure you take those differences into account, as uh, they're going to basically flow into more differences in the next layers, where we're going to start to kind of get a little crazy in the differences on both layers. So uh, or both sides. So, anyways, let's go and move on to our next layer, layer four. 
Alright guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer 4. Now layer 4 is the point of this tutorial where we're going to break off from doing the half on half off to basically doing each layer all together. This right here is where the ship starts to get very asymmetrical, so make sure you are paying close attention to what goes on what side and where, what goes where, as uh, one you know, misplaced block could throw some things off. So just make sure you're paying close attention. I'm going to try to go slow and uh, make it pretty easy for you guys to begin with. Now, um, as you can see, I also went ahead and filled in the previous layer with stone, so the whole inside here. You don't have to do that, though I do kind of recommend it. I like my builds to just kind of be kind of solid and, uh, you know, basically just like a brick almost. Um, so you can fill it in. Um, it's up to you guys. But if you are on, like, survival or something, you know, you may want to just so mobs don't spawn or whatever. But again, it's just something that's not needed. Uh, I try to show you guys the bare minimum blocks you at least need to place to make the build. Um, anyways, to begin with, we're going to go to this andesite wall here. We're going to place down a stone block on top of it, and then a stone top slab coming off that block toward the front here. Now, from this block, we're going to go and place down a skeleton skull here to the right side, and we're going to go and start with working on the right side of the ship to begin with. From that skeleton skull, we want to go ahead and go back from it with a upside down stone stair. Uh, sorry, it's going to be upside down stone stair facing this direction, so like this. And there's going to be a stone full block behind the stair or on the side of the stair like that. Going back from the stair, we're going to place down a row of one stone upside down stair and then one stone upside down corner stair like so. We're going to go and then place down a item frame which is going to be coming off the side of the corner stair here and then in that item frame we're going to place down a crossbow rotated downwards like that for the front anchors. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four stone blocks back. We then want to go ahead and go to our uh, Last three stone top slabs here, or stone full blocks. We're gonna place down one, two, three stone top slabs, and then we want to go and then grab our iron trap doors, and we're gonna place down two iron trap doors going forward of those top slabs. So we have something kind of looks like this here so far for the shaping, and again from the side here to different angle. Now from those top slabs there, we're gonna go and transition into stairs, and there's gonna be a row of three of upside down stairs. So uh, one, two, three, and then an upside down stone corner stair like so. Now once we get to this point right here, uh, this stone corner stair is actually going to be a stone full block. So we're going to replace that corner stair with a full block, and then come off that full block, we're going to place down a stone brick wall. We're going to go and then place down another stone full block, going back, a dark oak button on the side of it, and another stone full block, followed by a stone brick wall coming off of it. We want to go and then place down a row of two stone full blocks, two iron trap doors coming off those full blocks like so. And there are two stone full blocks with two dark oak buttons there on the side. We're going to go ahead and place down another stone full block with a uh, iron trap door coming off the side of it. And another stone full block back with a uh, andesite wall coming off the side here like so. Coming off the andesite wall, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block back. And then come off this stone full block, we want to go ahead and place down a lever which is going to be flicked upwards like so. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a second stone full block back. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, and four of stone blocks, and then on those stone four, on those four stone blocks, we're going to place down four stone upside down stairs coming off of it to the side. Uh, once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and then go to these last two stone stairs, and we're going to place down two iron trap doors coming off those stone stairs to the side as well. We want to go ahead and then place down a stone block here, followed by a dark oak wood button. We're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, row of two of stone full blocks and we're going to place down two dark oak buttons come off the stone full blocks and come off the stone buttons we're going to place down two iron trap doors like that out to the side we want to, we want to go and then, then place down a row of one two three stone blocks back three dark oak buttons on the side here and there's stone blo block back a lever and then one st and two stone blocks back with a dark oak button and a stone or, or and then a lever like that on the end there we're going to go and then place down two inside walls on top of those two walls there. From this point here, we're going to go to the inside of the walls. We're going to place down two stone blocks, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks back. We're going to go and then place down a dark oak button on the first one here. Lever, dark oak button, lever, one, two, three dark oak buttons, and a lever like so. We're going to go and then place down an inside wall, and then a stone full block. Coming off the stone full block here, we're going to place down a lever like that to the side. On this, uh, on this, uh, inside wall here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle like so. And, uh, we want to go and then go from the, uh, stone block here. And we're going to go ahead and go over one, two, three blocks over 
just like that. And then over here on the right side, we're going to have an andesite wall, and then another andesite wall works right here, and then coming off those two andesite walls, we're going to place down two stone top slabs. So you can see there are the difference there in both sides. Now once we get to this section here, we're going to basically build up the whole um, back section here, and this uh, whole stern section here of the ship is completely symmetrical. So to begin with, we're going to place down a quartz stair, like this on both sides, with a quartz slab coming off the backs of the stairs. In the space in between the stairs, we can go and just take some stone slabs and just fill the space in with two stone slabs like so. We want to go and then place down a stone brick wall here in the center, followed by a stone brick stair to both sides of the walls with the backs of the stairs facing toward the outside. Coming off the stairs, we're going to place down an upside down stair on both sides, and we want to go ahead and then place down a stone slab here in the middle space. On the very back here, we're going to go and place down a narrow brick stair, followed by a dark oak fence gate coming off the narrow brick stair, opened up toward it like so. In these corner spaces here, we're going to place down a placeholder block here uh, between those stairs, and we're going to place down a skeleton skull here at about a 45 degree angle and on each of those blocks, and then we can delete those blocks and we get that shaping there for the back. And we're also going to place down two skeleton skulls on the side of this slab and the back of the stair. And same thing over here, and also on this wall right here, slight uh, angle there with your skull. And that right there is going to basically uh, sum up the back design there, and that's going to do it for that. Now we have the right side done, so we're going to go ahead and now move on to the left side. So for the left side, going ahead and moving on from this section, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten stone blocks going forward. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of dark oak wood buttons so after those slabs there two dark or three dark oak wood buttons we want to go ahead and then place down a lever on this section here and then coming off the lever we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall so coming off the lever like that out to the side we're going to go ahead and then place down an additional lever and then a second one and we're going to go ahead and place down near stone brick wall coming off of it to the side on these two stone blocks we're going to place down two stone buttons followed by a andesite wall here and a stone block right here. Now coming off the stone block, we're going to place down a lever. And we want to go and then go for stone blocks. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 forward. So um, in total, this row right here should be, I believe, 15 blocks. So, yep, it's going to be 15 blocks in total. So from this section here to the front section, 15 blocks of stone block. Uh, we're going to then go to the sides here, we're going to place down a dark oak button after this lever, followed by a lever, two dark oak buttons, a lever, dark oak button, lever, dark oak button, lever, a dark oak button, and a lever. So you should have a total of four of these levers with a space of one in between them right here, and then you have your two ones back here. Once we get to this point, uh, we're going to place down a iron trap door. So grab one real quick from right here. We're going to place down an iron trap door here next to the lever. Followed by again a dark oak button, and then one and two iron trap doors going forward. Now, when we get to this section here, we're going to go and grab ourselves andesite walls, and we're going to place down a row of three coming off that stone block there. We're going to go ahead and go on the inside here and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven uh, stone blocks going forward. Or, sorry, my bad, it's going to be a row of nine blocks going forward. So, in total, this right here is going to be a row 9 of stone blocks. Uh, once we have that done, on the sides here of these blocks, we're going to place down two iron trap doors here, a stone brick wall, which is going to be on top of this lever here, and we're going to then place down a row 3 of levers on top of these iron trap doors and make sure that they are flicked toward the outside there for an anti-aircraft gun kind of position. We're going to then place down a stone upside down stair like so. Or sorry, my bad. It's going to be a another stone full block here. And then come off that stone full block, we're going to place down a uh, stone brick wall. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone upside down stair. Come off that stair, we're going to place down a stair like this. And we want to go and then place down a second stone stair coming off of it. So just like that. After that, uh, we want to go and then take our top slabs. <clears throat> we're going to place down a row of one, two, three. Going forward of top slabs. On the inside here, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four. Um, stone full blocks going forward. We're going to go and then take our stone stairs. We're going to place down a row of one and two stone upside down stairs and then a stone upside down corner stair. <clears throat> Just like that. 
And this stair right here should be a corner stair. So you have your corner stair here, regular stair, and a corner stair. Uh, come off the side of this corner stair up here in the front. We're going to go ahead and place down a item frame. And in that item frame, we're going to go ahead and take our crossbow, place it in the item frame, rotate it around, down, around the uh, face downwards, and then a skeleton skull come off the side of this stone block up here in the front. And we're also going to place down two iron trap doors coming off this stone full block and this stone upside down corner stair. And once we have that all finished there, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for what we have here for basically uh, this layer, layer 4. As you can see, there is a difference here on both sides. Make sure you're paying close attention to those differences. Um, I know it is kind of a little bit tricky and looking at it from above here, it does look kind of like a mess. But as we progress a little bit further and start adding stuff on, it's going to kind of flow together and make a lot more sense what some of these things are, what they're there for. So uh, again, here's a bit of an aerial overview of what this layer looks like. I'll go ahead and show you guys a view from the side here. So this is from the right side. And then a view from the left side over here. That's what that should look like. And that right there is basically what you want to have here for this layer. And that right there is going to do it for layer 4. Again, you can fill the inside in with stone if you do want to. Again, an optional feature. Um, but anyways, that right there is going to do it for this layer. Let's go and move on to our next layer, layer number 5. Alright guys, go ahead and move it into our next layer. We go ahead and move it into layer 5. So for layer 5, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stone stair on top of this top slab here in the front. And then we're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides of the stair like so. Once we have that done, coming off the back of the stair, we're going to place down a birchwood button item frame and then a block of gold rotated to kind of form a symbol like that to be basically the imperial crest there for the front of the ship. Once we have that all finished there, we're going to go ahead and go back from that stone stair with a stone brick slab. We're going to go and then place down a stone slab up to both sides like so. Or sorry, my bad, it's going to be a stone block here in the middle and then a stone brick slab to both sides. Come off the side here of this stone brick slab right here. Um, we're going to place down a stone slab. So to both sides like that. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves dark liquid signs. We're going to place down one and two dark liquid signs along both sides here. Just like that. Once we have that done, we're going to then place down a another row of stone full blocks going across here. So this is going to be another row three. Going all the way across here and then a skeleton school on both ends. Like so. After we have that done, we're going to then uh, transition to this area. So this area is basically this kind of inner section, inner kind of section here underneath the flight deck. We're going to place down a andesite wall here on top of those two iron trap doors to both sides, and then an andesite wall there in the center. We want to go and then um, place down a uh, oak wood pressure plate on top of these two iron trap doors, and coming off the pressure plate here to the side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign. And same thing over here as well. We want to go and then place down another andesite wall to both sides. And we're going to follow up by place down our oak wood pressure plate to both sides with a dark oak wood sign. Again, come off the sides. Like so. And then for our center area, uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some redstone dust and redstone repeaters. We're going to place down a redstone piece of dust right here on both sides. And then we're going to place down a redstone repeater that goes back from it with the notches spread apart like so. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and fill the space in the center here between the pressure plates with a oak wood pressure plate and then a row of three across here. A stone block in the center and then an inside wall to both sides. Once we get to this section, uh, we start to kind of get into our uh, asymmetry here. So for this, we're going to, go to place down a row of, th of uh, stone blocks going all the way across here. So this will be a row of five. And we're going to, go to start working on our right side. So, going back from this row of five stone blocks, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two stone blocks going back like that. Uh, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves some iron trap doors and place down two iron trap doors. Now, after we get to this section here, we're going to go ahead and grab stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down, or sorry, three iron trap doors, my bad. And then a stone brick upside down stair coming off that iron trap door there. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick full block, a stone brick upside down stair, and another stone brick full block, just like that. After that, uh, we want to go and then place down an andesite wall, followed by a stone brick, or sorry, a stone full block. Coming off the stone full block, we're going to place down a lever. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of two of stone stairs. So one, two stone stairs, and we're going to place down dark oak with signs coming off the front stair of the stairs. We're going to go and then place down two stone full blocks with levers on the sides of those full blocks. We're going to place down another stone block here, followed by a stone brick wall coming off the side of it. 
We're going to go and then place down one and two stone blocks back. And again, a stone brick wall came off the side of this stone block. We then want to go ahead and grab our stone brick top slabs. And we're going to place down a row of two of top slabs come off this stone brick wall. And we want to go and then take our uh, stone blocks and place it in a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stone blocks back. Um, again, going back to this section here, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our black concrete. And we're going to place down two black concrete blocks on top of those two iron trap doors. And we then want to go ahead and go to the side of those blocks and we're going to place down two ladders. We're going to go ahead and then skip a space from the stone brick top slab. We're going to place down there two stone brick top slabs. And, uh, or sorry, skip space from this and replace on two stone brick top slabs and then we're going to place down our two black concrete blocks and again we have our ladders here on the sides of these black concrete blocks. When we get to this section here, uh, we want to go and then uh, start off by going to the last um, stone block there and we're going to place down a dispenser on top of this lever and also on top of this lever as well. The space in between them, we're going to place down a stone top slab so we'll go ahead and grab one of those from the front here so we're going to place a stone top slab in between them, and then one coming off from toward the front. And then on the back side here, we want to go in and very simply just place down a skeleton skull like that, coming off the dispenser. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves some dark oak with fence gates, and coming off the dispensers, we're going to place down fence gates, coming off of it like that for some anti-aircraft guns. After that, uh, we want to go in and then grab our andesite walls, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three. And on the inside here of those walls, we're going to place down one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, and 10 stone blocks going back. Along the sides here, we're going to go and place down a stone brick upside down stair, which is going to be going uh, in the section right after these walls. So we're going to place down an upside down stair facing that direction, like so. We want to go and then place down an iron trap door, and then there's stone brick upside down stair, just like that. After we have that done, we're going to go and place down an iron trap door right here. And also coming off the backs of these stairs, we're going to place down iron trap doors as well. Uh, once we have that done there, we're going to place down a row two of stone top slabs. And then we want to place down another stone brick up sound stair like that with a iron trap door come off the back of it. Uh, we're going to then place down a iron trap door next to this stair, followed by an inside wall on the inside here. And we're going to then place down a, another inside wall here on top of the stone block. And a stone brick up sound stair coming off of it to the side and an iron trap door come off the back of the stair. Once we have that all done, we're going to go and take our stone blocks. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three over, and then a andesite wall over here to this side. And we can go ahead and place down a another andesite wall going back from this. Two stone top slabs come off those two um, andesite walls, and we're going to place down two iron trap doors coming off those two top slabs. Then we can go ahead and start working on the back section here. So for the back here, we're going to go and place down a quartz stair on top of this one and also on top of this stair here and we're going to place a quartz slab coming off the back of the stair. We want to go and then grab ourselves some light gray carpet. We're going to place down a light gray carpet on top of this skeleton skull here on top of this one and on top of these two stone slabs here in the center. We're going to go and then place down a stone block on top of this stone brick wall and we want to go and then go up and out to the sides here from the stone brick stairs on top of these um, skeleton skulls and we're going to place down a stone brick wall on both sides. On the back here, on top of these stone brick up down stairs, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair to both sides. Dark oak fence gates come off those narrow brick stairs, just like that for anti-aircraft gun batteries. And that right there is going to basically finish off the back section here, and we're going to go and start working our way along the right side now. So for the right side here, uh, after we have this section, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 stone blocks going forward, and that's going to be from this andesite wall. And then our last two stone blocks here, we're going to place down two andesite walls just like that. Now once we get to this section here, uh, we want to go and take our stone blocks. I believe, let me just double check here. Um, and yep, so we're going to take our stone blocks and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone top slab. Now we cut off this stone top slab, we're going to place down one more top slab out to the side here. Followed by a stone brick up down stair. And we're going to go and then grab ourselves a stone brick block. We're going to place that in a stone brick block, stone brick up sound stair, stone brick block, and a near stone brick up sound stair like that. Now, once we have that done there, we're going to go ahead and then go to this section. 
So for this section here, we're going to take our stone blocks, we're going to place down a row after the inside walls of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and I'm going to go ahead and go with 16, 17, and then we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, stone stair. So, stone stair on top of this wall. Now from this section here, we're going to start working our way from the back up toward the front. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some end rods, and on each one of these levers, we're going to go ahead and place down an end rod. So just like this on the side here. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves levers, and between this space here, we're going to place down two levers. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames, and some iron bars. And for this, we're going to go ahead and very simply go to the side here of uh, these blocks, and my item frames disappeared for some reason. We're going to place down an item frame here in this space with a iron bar in it. Then we're going to place down an item frame here with an iron bar in it, an iron frame here with an iron bar in it, and then we're going to place down a dark oak button in this spot right here. Now once we get to this section, uh, we want to go and then place down a stone pressure plate, which is going to go on top of this iron trap door. And we want to go and then grab ourselves a redstone comparator, and we're going to place down a redstone comparator on top of this iron trap door here. After that, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by a stone stair. Now on the bottom of the, or sorry, a stone, stone full block. On the bottom of the stone full block, we're going to place down a lever and have it flicked toward the um, inside here. So just like that. And we want to go ahead and also place down an item frame here on the side. In that item frame, we're going to place down a black bed. Rotate on side like so. And then we want to go ahead and grab a dark liquid sign and place a dark liquid sign over the side of the block like that. After that, uh, we're going to go and then place down a redstone comparator right here. After that, we're going to go and grab a stone brick stair. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair on top of this iron trap door. Fall by a stone brick block, and then coming off that stone brick block to the side, we're going to grab ourselves a skeleton skull. And we're going to place a skeleton skull coming off of it. We're going to then place down two stone brick stairs back to back, or front to front like that. Two dark oak signs coming off the sides of them, like so. And we want to go and then place down a stone brick upside down stair, stone brick full block, and an air stone brick upside down stair. Come off the stone brick full block, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like that. And also the same thing on the outside, or this this side here, we should have uh, two skeleton skulls come off these two full blocks up here in the front section. Uh, continuing on, we're going to then take our iron trap doors. We're going to place in a row of one, two, and three of iron trap doors going forward. And we're just going to take our stone blocks and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten along the inside here, closing that whole space off like so. And also on the right side here where this inside wall is, we do want a stone block behind it as well. And that right there is going to basically do it for what we have for layer 5. Here's an overview of what it looks like again. As you can see, again, a very weird looking messed up shape so far, but it's all going to kind of flow together uh, once we get our next layer put on. So anyways, that right there is it for layer 5. Here's a, a view here from the left side. And then we're going to go over here to this side and we'll take a view from the right side. And that right there is all we have here for this layer. Again, you can go and fill in the inside in with stone. And uh, that right there is going to be wrapped up for layer number uh, five. And with that, let's move into layer number six. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer six. Now, layer six here is going to be probably our most difficult layer. I just want to go ahead and kind of throw that out there. Um, this is where we're basically adding all of our anti-aircraft guns on. We're going to basically set up the whole flight deck, and there's a lot going on. So just make sure you're paying close attention um, to this layer and uh, we'll get through it no problem. We're going to start off by doing the outline here for the um, basically the flight deck level and then we'll fill in the inside in with um, all the blocks we need and I'll talk about that once we get to that part a little bit more um, in depth. But anyways we're going to start off by going ahead and going here to the front. On top of this stone stair we're going to place down a iron bar. After that we're going to go and place down a lever on top of this stone uh, full block here with a item frame uh, around it like that to kind of create a little bit more of like a anti-aircraft gun position. We're going to go then place down a stone brick stair here, an iron frame coming off, off the front of the stair, and then we're going to place down a black bed in the iron frame, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to then place down a, a lever to both sides here, and an iron frame again on top of the stone blocks. We're going to go then place down a stone uh, stair, which is going to be upside down on top of these two andesite walls, so like so. 
And we're going to go ahead and place down a stone full block on top of this wall right here. And a upside down stone stair on top of this section as well. On top of these walls right here, we're going to go ahead and also place down a stone upside down stair. We want to go ahead and then grab ourselves top slabs. And we're going to place down a top slab between these stairs here. Followed by a row of five of top slabs of stone. A row of three across this section. On top of this full block of stone, we're going to place down a stone full block. Stone upside down stair coming off each side. So it looks like that. And we're going to then place down a stone top slab out to both sides, like so. And that's going to kind of wrap up our front section there. And for both sides here also, coming off the top slab and the stair here, we'll place down two skeleton schools here on both sides. When we get to this section, it's going to go ahead and start to get into our differences. So starting with our uh, right side over here, we're going to place down a row of three of levers on top of those uh, iron trap doors. We want to go and then skip a space, and we're going to go and then place down a... Uh, anvil on top of this stone full block so you want face in that direction and we're going to place down two dark oak fence gates coming off the anvil opened up toward it like so for our heavy anti-aircraft gun battery and we also want to go and place down a wither skeleton skull come off the side here on the anvil from this we're going to place down a stone block next to it and we're going to then place down a oak, dark oak wood button like that come off the stone block we're going to place down our anvil just like we did before and again with our fence gates come off the side uh, just like so when we get to the section, we're going to go ahead and place down an andesite wall, followed by an iron trap door coming off it to the side. And coming off that iron trap door, we do want to go ahead and grab ourselves an iron frame. We're going to place down an iron frame here on the side. And we're going to go ahead and also place down a snowball in the iron frame like so. We're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks. We're going to place down a stone full block here. And then one more stone full block out to the side like so. We then want to go ahead and go to the side of this wall here. And we're going to place down a stone full block. We're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves an iron bar. We're going to place down an iron bar here. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six stone full blocks going forward. Now, just so that we um, can mark our position to be from this section, we're going to go from this iron bar. We're going to go one, two, three, and four iron bars over for the time being. And uh, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Uh, but we can, uh, if we want to as well, take our stone blocks and go from this iron bar here and run a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks along this side. Um, but we're going to leave it as is for right now. We'll come back to that section. After we have that done, uh, we want to go and then come back to the side here. We're going to go ahead and place down a andesite wall, which is going to be coming off this stone full block. We then want to go ahead and place down an iron trap door. And we're going to go and then place down a stone brick wall. So, stone brick wall after the iron trap door. We're going to go and then place down a stone brick stair. And we're going to go and grab ourselves an item frame, a black bed, and a dark oak wood sign. We're going to place an item frame here on the side of the stair, a black bed in the item frame, and a dark oak wood sign on the side of the stair. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves our nether brick uh, stairs here and place down a nether brick stair on top of this wall. Dark oak fence gate opened up toward it. We're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, stone slab. So a stone slab after the nether brick stair and a, another narrow brick stair with a dark brick fence gate coming off it like so. We then want to go ahead and grab our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down two stone brick stairs on top of those two stone brick top slabs, and again two stone brick stairs on top of those two top slabs there. We then also want to go ahead and grab levers, and on top of the black concrete here, we're going to place down two levers on each of these sections here and make sure that they're flicked to aim toward the um, sh actual ship itself and not to the outside. We then want to go ahead and grab iron trap doors. We're going to place down one, two, and three. Iron trap doors across this space here, followed by a cobweb on top of this iron trap door, or the stone top slab. We're going to go and then place down a stone slab on top of this one. And we can then go ahead and grab our stone full blocks here. And for our stone full blocks, we're going to go ahead and basically place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31 uh, stone full blocks back. Just basically completely filling in the space along the side here. Now, once we have that done, we're going to go back to this section here. Um, there actually should be, from the previous layer, which I did forget, a stone top slab, which will be coming off of this wall right here so a stone top slab like that and we're going to go and then take our 
dispensers. And we're going to place down a dispenser on top of this iron trap door. Like so. And also on top of this one. Coming off of those, we're going to place down dark oak defense gates. Like that. And in between them, we're going to place down a stone brick wall. We then want to go ahead and place down a cobweb here. And then skeleton skull come off the side of this block like that. Uh, after that, we're going to go ahead and then grab our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of two stone brick stairs. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves item frames again. We're going to place down item frames here coming off the front of the stairs. Black beds in those item frames and dark liquid signs over them like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a narrow brick stair again. Dark oak defense gate coming off of it. Opened up toward it. A stone slab. Dark oak would sign on the side of it. A narrow brick stair. And a dark oak defense gate coming off the stair itself. Now once we have that done, going from the back of this stone block, we're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 more. So you have a row of 7 going all the way across. And we're going to then place down one more stone block going forward. And we then want to go in very simply, uh, just place down a uh, row of two levers on these iron trap doors. Now for this back section here, to go ahead and basically build this up. So for this section, what we want to do to get started here, is we're going to be going ahead and taking our stone top sides. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that go across. We're going to go and then grab our stone brick stairs. And we want to place down a stone brick. Or sorry, uh, real quick, we're going to go place down a uh, another row of stone top slabs. So this row right here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. However, we're going to have one more that stick out in both directions. So it's going to be a row of 9. We're going to go then place down a stone brick upside down stair which is going to be on top of these walls so like that and same thing over here and then a top slab coming off the backs of the stairs and then a row of three in between the stairs like so we then want to go ahead and place down a row of five of top slabs going across the back here just like that now once we get to this section we're going to take birchwood trap doors we're going to place down one here in the corners and then a row of five going across the back there just like that and with that all done, uh, we can go ahead and start working on our left side. So our back's complete, and start working on our left side. So for our left side here, we're going to take our stone blocks. Um, this row here is going to basically go all the way to the front, so just like we did before. Um, so it's going to be a pretty good size of stone blocks. So we're going to go, and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there is a point that we do want to stop. I just want to make sure I stop at the right point. So we have 7, 8... 9, 10, and 11. So once we get to our 11th block, we're going to go ahead and stop for the time being. Now once we have that done, we're going to go and start working on our side here. Starting off with, we're going to go and go to this stone top slab. We're going to place down a cobweb on top of it. We're going to go and then grab our anvils. So from the front here. And our dark liquid signs. We're going to go and place down our anvil here. Our dark liquid signs come off the anvils. Open up toward it. Actually, sorry, my bad. It's going to be the anvil on this block here. And then our dark liquid signs. And then we want to go and grab ourselves our wither skeleton skull. And we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull here on the side of the anvil. From this, we're going to go and then place down an anvil on top of this stone block here. Wither skeleton skull on the side of it like that. And we're going to go and then take our dark liquid fence gates and place down two coming off of it like that. And open it up toward it like so. We then want to go and grab ourselves a daylight detector. And we're going to place down a daylight detector here on top of this stone stair like that. Once we get that done, uh, we want to go and then go to this section. And again, from this section right here, I did forget to place down a stone top slab coming off this uh, indesite wall. So just go ahead and add that now. And on top of it, we're going to place down a cobweb. We then want to place down a narrow brick stair with a dark oak fence gate coming off like so. Followed by a stone slab with a dark oak sign. A narrow brick stair with a dark oak fence gate come off it like so. This section here we're going to go ahead and place down two stone brick stairs. So one, two, two item frames, two dark oak signs, and like we've been doing with our item frames we're going to go ahead and place down a black bed in those item frames uh, like we did right here. So just one and two. Now behind these blocks right here we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, oakwood planks and we're going to place down three oakwood planks over here on the left side. So it's right there in that section. Once we get that done, we're going to place down an Arabic stair on top of each one of these end rods along the sides here. And coming off those, we're going to place down dark oak fence gates for each one. And in the space in between each of these stairs, we're going to place down a stone slab with a 
dark if it's signed, coming off the sides there of those slabs, like so. After that's all done, we want to go and then take our stone blocks, and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks along the back there. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a stone slab next to the stair, followed by a dark liquid sign. We then want to place down a stone brick stair, item frame, black bed in the item frame, and a dark liquid sign over it. And we're going to go ahead and then place down another stone slab, like so. Again, a dark liquid sign on the side there. Behind this row, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our stone blocks. We're going to place down one, two, and three. Stone blocks are going across like so. We're going to go ahead and then take andesite walls and place down one, two, and three andesite walls along the side there as well. Now, after we have that done, uh, we're going to go and then grab a skeleton skull and place it down on the side of this block here. And we want to go and then place down an anvil in on top of this stone full block. Coming off the anvil, we're going to place down an item frame. So we'll go ahead and grab one of those again. And we'll place down an item frame on the side of the anvil. Black bed and a darker good sign over it. And then a skeleton skull come off this wall like so. We will want to go and then place down an air stone slab. Dark oak sign there on the side. We're going to go and then uh, skip a space to the stone full block here. We're going to place down an anvil. And coming off the anvil, we're going to place down one and two dark oak fence gates open up toward the anvil like so. And a wither skeleton skull on the inside here. And then we're going to place down two stone full blocks. One, two on top of this section here. Dark oak buttons on the side of those full blocks. Now we also want to take full blocks and we're going to go to the inside section here. We're going to go and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone full blocks just fill that space in like so. Uh, we're going to go and then go to this section here. Uh, we have another one of these anvils. So an anvil on top of the stone full block with our skeleton skull on the side and one and two dark oak fence gates coming off the anvil like so. We're going to go and then grab ourselves a iron bar. We're going to place down an iron bar right here. And we want to go and then take our levers and we're going to place on a row of one, two, and three levers along the side there like so. Now once we have that done, uh, we pretty much have our outside perimeter here of the uh, basically aircraft carrier done. As you can see looking down at it from above now, we start to actually see a little bit of an aircraft carrier type shape to it. Um, but uh, yeah, so as I mentioned, pretty long uh, layer to do as we have all those anti-aircraft gun positions we're basically putting in. Now once we have this done, uh, we can go ahead and basically start filling in the area here for our flight deck. So the first thing I want to go ahead and uh, mention of doing is we're going to go and go to this these iron bars here and place down a row three here and a row three here of stone and that's going to basically just kind of close those sections off like so. Now once we have that done, we're going to then fill this whole space in the front here with oak wood planks, so just like that. And then when we get to this section here, we're going to go ahead and place down a three by three square here of stone. So one two three, one two three, one two three. We're going to have oak wood planks that run along the side here and basically fill in the space across here. So we have a row of four of oak wood planks, a row of four, a third row of four, and then we're going to transition to a row of five. We're going to go and place down a total of uh, one, two, or sorry, my bad, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven rows of five of oak wood. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, in seven rows. And then we're going to do another three by three square here. So one, two, and three rows of three of stone blocks for our next elevator. Oak wood planks along the sides, like so. And we want to go and then do a, a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten rows of five of oak wood planks. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we're going to go do another three by three square. So one, two, and three rows of three. Oak wood planks here along the sides. And we're going to go ahead and also place down two rows of five of oak wood planks here across the back. So just like that. And once we get to this section here, we pretty much have our whole flight deck filled in, kind of our outlines here for the elevators, and we'll be kind of tidying it up a little bit and make it look all good and proper in the next layer. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number um, five, or sorry, layer number six actually. And with that, uh, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number seven.
All right, guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer seven. Layer seven here should be our last long layer, and then from there on, it's just gonna be basically completing the Connie Tower and um, doing some of the rigging and stuff like that. So uh, we're almost done with the ship. We got the hard parts out of the way, and it's um, gonna be another long layer, but it shouldn't be too difficult. We're basically just gonna be adding on to already what we have on our flight deck. So the first thing I wanna cover is one section that is kind of modded, and this right here is one uh, part that some of you may be able to do, some of you won't be able to do. So to begin with, we're going to go to these narrow brick stairs and we want to go and go off of each one of these fence gates. And on top of them, we're going to place down a yellow concrete block. And it's going to be for each one of these. And also when we get to our anvil section here, we're going to place down a concrete block right here, one here, and one right there. So you can see that there is a bit of a difference. So again, just kind of want to uh, throw that out there for you guys um, so that you guys are aware. Um, so we have basically these sections here where our blocks are. We're going to also grab a barrier block, place it down on this stone stair here, and we're going to place down a stone button on the side of it. Once we have that done, we can go ahead and do this technique. So for this, we're going to go and place down a lever on each one of these yellow concrete blocks. And we can go and then use our debug stick to go ahead and have it off the wall and on the ground. So we're going to go and select this thing and we're going to go and put it on the floor there. And then we want to have it aimed so it's toward the outside. So we can go and then right click each one of these and it should place it down on top of the stair. Just like that. Now if you do not have access to this ability, a good alternative to do is to go ahead and actually place down a uh, skeleton skull in the place instead. Now it doesn't look as good, it doesn't work as great as for what we're trying to go for, but you can place down a skeleton skull on top of these sections here where we have these levers if you do not have the ability to do this. But if you do have the ability to do this, I do recommend it. It looks really good for um, basically what we're trying to do here. So I um, would recommend, um, but again, if you do not have access to it, then uh, obviously not that big of a deal. Um, so we can go ahead and then go to each one of these yellow blocks. And this is technically part of the next layer, but we're going to go ahead and do it now anyway. And we can go and place down a trapdoor on each one of these blocks. And in the spaces in between the trapdoors, we're going to go and place down smooth sandstone um, blocks. So between these two, those three blocks, and then these four. So just like that. And we can go ahead and then delete these yellow concrete blocks. So all the way across here like so. And then on the bottom of these trapdoors, we're going to go and place down a lever. Like this, going all the way on the bottom here, on all these trapdoors. And this, these two levers will connect up and kind of form a really nice kind of um, support here for basically these awnings that stick out past these anti-aircraft gun positions. So all the way along the side there like that, and we have basically these awnings done here on the side. Really cool technique, I really do like it, and um, hope you guys do like it as well. Again, I did offer an alternative for you guys. Um, unfortunately, it's not the greatest, but um, you know, kind of do what you got to do. So that's how we do that. I just want to cover that first because that's really the only real modded section of this um, ship. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and now work and work on the flight deck markings. So this right here is going to be uh, a lot of stuff going on. So to begin with, we're going to go, ahead and go to the front and we want to go and take our white carpet. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four. Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49 uh, white carpet back. So basically along the entire flight deck there down the center. Now we're going to start off on the front here. We're going to do the sides, two stone pressure plates to both sides. We're going to then place down a white carpet to both sides, stone pressure plate, a narrow white carpet to both sides, uh, this time followed by a birchwood button on both sides and make sure it's facing in this direction and not that direction. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, birchwood button here to both sides and then a white carpet to both the outer sides. Now when we get to this section here, we're going to take our oakwood pressure plates, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 along the side here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to go ahead and also place down one here on top of these two stone blocks, like that on both sides. Now uh, this right here is very much our front of our uh, flight deck here, and moving to the sides here, we do have some uh, more little awnings to do and stuff like that. So over the levers here, we're going to go ahead and place down birchwood trapdoors, 
again on both sides here. And we also want to go ahead and place down an iron trap door on top of these two anvils to both sides like that. Now, once we have that done, uh, we're going to get into the conning tower section. So for the conning tower, we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick stair on top of this anvil here. And then a dark oak fence here to come off the nether brick stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab coming off the side here of the stair. And we're going to go and place down a dark oak wood sign on the side of the top slab. Going back from the top slab, we're going to go and take our stone full blocks. We're going to place down row of one, two, three. And we want to go and then place down a andesite wall. Once we have that done, we're going to place down an anvil on the sides here. So we're going to place down an anvil on top of this stone block and also on top of this stone brick wall. Come off the sides of these, we're going to go and grab ourselves item frames and black beds. We're going to place down item frames, come off the anvils and black beds in the item frames. Followed by dark oak signs on the sides of those anvils. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go from this section, and we're going to take our stone pressure plates and place down a row of three, or sorry, a row of two stone pressure plates between the anvils. Now, on the back here, we're also going to go ahead and grab a lever, and we're going to place down a lever on this stone block facing toward the andesite wall. And we're going to then place down a cobweb after the lever, followed by another brick stair here, and a dark oak fence can come off the narrow brick stair. Also on the stone slab over here on the right side, there should be a dark oak sign on that slab as well. If you did not add it, go ahead and add it already. Or go ahead and add it now. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab a barrier block and a stone button. And we're going to go to this stone block right here. Place down a barrier block and a stone button there on the side. Now once we have that done, we can go ahead and then take our oak wood uh, pressure plates. And after the barrier block, we can go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 pressure plates back. We're going to go and then run into basically where our crane's going to go. So for our crane here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair on top of this stone block here. Followed by one, two, three, and uh, four and five stone pressure plates back. And then on the first one here, we're going to place down a light gray banner on the side of it and also on the light gray banner on the side of the stone br brick upside down stair. Now, once we have that done there, uh, again to the sides here, we're going to place down a cobweb on top of each one of these. So just like that going up. And also over here on this side as well, we're going to place down a cobweb on top of these ones. Just like that, again, going up on those si that side as well. Now, uh, again, kind of focusing our attention here back to the flight deck now that we have our conning tower kind of constructed. Uh, we want to go and then grab our uh, birchwood buttons here and our oakwood pressure plates and we're going to place down an oakwood pressure plate here on top of this stone block and also on across this row here so one and two right there and then one and two over here to this side like so and there's also going to be an iron trap door on top of this anvil here now we want to go and then take our oakwood pressure plates and we're going to place down a row of one two three all on the side here so we have our elevator here kind of highlighted and then taking our pressure plates again we're going to go one two three more kind of filling in that space like so. After we have that done, uh, we want to go and go after this pressure plate, and we're going to place down a row of birchwood buttons going all the way alongside the oakwood planks, like this going toward the back here. And this is basically going to be the uh, stripes here on the carrier, and it's going to go all the way back and stop at this stone brick upside down stair. Actually, yeah, it's going to stop at the stone brick upside down stair like that. Now, once we have that done, also this white carpet here, we're going to delete on top of that birchwood trapdoor. So it's only going to stop right before it. And we're going to go ahead and go over here and we're going to start at the same point this button starts. So right here next to the Nerbic stair. Or, um, yeah, right next to the Nerbic stair. And we're going to place down our buttons that go back like this. So all the way along here. And it's going to stop right when we get to right before that stone brick stair. So just like that. And we want to go and then go to the sides here. And on top of this um, wall here, we're going to place down a oakwood pressure plate and we're going to just place down pressure plates on top of all these stone blocks all the way along the side here and then once we get to this point right here um, we want to go ahead and take our stone uh, pressure plates and we're going to place down one two and three like that we're going to place down a birchwood trap door here on top of the slab and then one uh, more trap door come off into the side we're going to place down a lever on the bottom and make sure we have it open so that's facing toward the slab and we're gonna do the same thing over here so birchwood trapdoor on top 
second trapdoor coming off, and then a lever here on the bottom, like so. Then on the sides here, we're going to also place down a birchwood trapdoor in this section as well to both sides. Now once we get to this section, we're going to grab ourselves white and red carpet. We're going to place down a red carpet piece in this section here, two white carpets here, two red carpets like that in the middle, and then we have our white line going down the center. And the last thing we have to do here is to go ahead and grab ourselves a barrier block, and we're going to place down a barrier block coming off the side of this trapdoor over here on the left side, and we're going to place down a stone button coming off the side of that. Side of that. And that right there should finish this layer. I'm just making sure there is nothing I missed. Um, but everything should be pretty much good to go for it. And um, actually, yeah, one thing here on the conning tower, we do have a row of three of dark oak buttons here along the side of the conning tower like so. So once we have that all done, though, that is going to basically do it for this layer. Here's a bit of an overview of what it looks like from up above. A side view from the left side. And then we go over here to the right side and give you edit of it as well and that right there is pretty much it for uh layer number seven and we have our whole flight deck complete and everything like that with that we're probably gonna move into our final layers here uh we have layers 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 where we're gonna basically put all the masts on the uh cape the rigging and uh basically the climbing tower so with that let's go ahead and uh move into our last final layers all right guys moving into our final layers we have layers 8 through 14 for these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go straight to our conning tower. Now, for the conning tower here, we're going to start by going to these uh, two stone blocks here and place down two stone full blocks on top of them. And then we're going to place down an andesite wall on top of this section. Coming off this andesite wall, we're going to place down an iron trapdoor with a dark oak sign on both sides of the trapdoor. We then want to go ahead and go to the side that's facing toward the flight deck here and we're going to place down a row of three of skeleton skulls along the side. A skeleton skull coming off the front here. And we want to go and then place down an iron trapdoor on top of this anvil, item frame coming off the side of the trapdoor, snowball in the item frame, a dark liquid sign on the side of the item frame like so, and we're gonna, or the side of the iron trapdoor, and then we're going to place down two skeleton skulls in this space like so. Going ahead and moving up to our uh, next layer up for the conning tower, we're going to place down a stone block, item frames around the stone block like so, and in those item frames we're going to place down black beds, rotated so that the pillow is facing uh, toward the rear of the ship on both sides and then we can go ahead and just place down a black concrete block in the middle one here. So just a black concrete block like so and we're going to go and place down dark liquid signs on the sides here of the um, full block like that. After we have that done we're going to go and then place down a inner stone full block right here. This time we're going to place down an iron trap door to both sides and we can go ahead and then give ourselves a debug stick. Now this right here, again, is a thing that if you do have access to mods, you can um, do this. So we're just going to go ahead and make sure we select it to open to uh, true. So it closes it like this alongside the side of the block. If you don't have access to that ability, just go ahead and use dark liquid trapdoors in that spot instead. We're going to go then place down an iron trapdoor here, a skeleton skull to both sides, and then a dark liquid sign come off the side of the iron trapdoor like that. Going ahead and moving up to the top here of the conning tower, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a anvil on top of the stone block. We're going to place down an iron frame coming off the anvil, and in that iron frame we're going to place down a black bed rotated around facing that direction, like so. And we want to go ahead and place down a redstone comparator on top of this stone block, followed by a iron bar on top, and then one out to both sides, like so. After that's all complete, um, that's pretty much it for our conning tower, and we're going to go ahead and now move into our rear mast. So, for our rear mast here, to begin with, we want to go ahead and place down a row of one and two cobwebs going up from this one to a row of three in total. A stone brick wall up on top here. We're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak fence gate coming off the sides of the stone brick wall facing toward the front and toward the back. We're going to go ahead and place down an end rod on top of this stone brick wall. A dark oak fence gate facing toward the front, opened up. A iron, uh, or sorry, a end rod up on top, and then an end rod, or end rod on top, and then an iron bar on top of the end rod. And then going back from the fence gate here, we're gonna place down an end rod, and then an end rod out to both sides as well. Now, once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and also grab ourselves a light gray banner. We're gonna place down a light gray banner, come off this um, fence gate facing toward the front like so. 
Now we're gonna go then grab ourselves some barrier blocks. And we're gonna go and place down a barrier block coming off this end rod. We're gonna go ahead and then drop down and go forward too. And we're gonna go and then go to the side of the anvil like so. Now for this, real simply, we're gonna go and place down our stone buttons. One, two, two, one. So if one, then two, and then one. So uh, basically going along the side here of those uh, barrier blocks just like that. Now for the back section here, uh, we want to go and then go off of this end rod. We're going to go ahead and place down a barrier block. We're going to go ahead and go down one and back one, down one, back one, down one, back one, and down one, back one. So just like this. And we want to go and then take our stone buttons and place it down on the sides of these barrier blocks going all the way up like so. Now we do have another line that runs from this barrier block. So we're going to go ahead and go off this barrier block, place down a barrier block like this, then go up, go two across, then go up again to one. And we're going to place down a stone button here, two here, and then one right there. So it should look like that there on the side there for the rigging for the mast. After that's all complete, uh, we're going to go and then grab ourselves our um, these uh, end rods again. And we're going to go and do these kind of minor masts, I guess you would call them. Not really sure what the exact term would be for them. Um, but for these, we're going to go and go to these cobwebs. We're going to go and go up two end rods, then a end rod to both sides, and then a iron bar on top. And same thing here, two end rods up and rod up to both sides and a iron bar on top and we're gonna go do the same thing here over on the left side as well so just like that and I'm placing blocks kind of all over the place and just like that now once we get to this section uh, we want to go and then take barrier blocks and place it down in between these end rods we're gonna start with the right side first and then we're gonna go and place down stone buttons on the sides here of these barrier blocks like so then for this front section here uh, we're going to place down a barrier block that comes down like this followed by a second one and a third one so it kind of comes down at a row like that and we're going to place down stone buttons on the side there of those blocks then moving to the back here uh, we're going to do basically the same thing so a barrier block here drops down barrier block drops down to a barrier block on top of that dispenser there and we're going to place down stone buttons here on the sides now on the side we can, so these two barrier blocks here, we're going to place down two, uh, but we're going to place down one button on the one side here, but these two barrier blocks we can place down buttons on both sides, and same thing for the front ones up here as well. So just like that, but we can't place them on the sides of this one because we have the pressure plates there. So that's going to be that mast over there on the right side, and then the one over here to the left side. Left side here, we're going to start by going to this barrier block here, and we want to go ahead and then go one more block over, followed by a stone button on top of it. We're going to go from the stone button one and two barrier blocks. We're going to place down a uh, stone button to the right side of this barrier block to over here. Another stone button on top. Another barrier block that goes up and a stone button like so. And um, again, we'll place down a stone button on both sides of this barrier block up here on the top. After we have that done, we're going to take our barrier blocks, go back our row, connecting the two together, and we're going to place down our stone buttons here on the sides and then for the back section here uh, we're going to go and take our barrier blocks and just place down one here and then one that drops down like so and then again wherever we can so on these two barrier blocks here we're going to place down stone buttons on both sides and then we're just going to basically do it for our mess and the last thing we have to do here for the tutorial is the crane itself so the crane here super simple design and uh, we'll basically be done with the build so for the crane here we're going to go to this stone brick stair and place down two stone brick walls up with an iron trap door on top. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair come up this wall here. An air stair that kind of goes up at an angle and then a stone brick slab that kind of comes up at the angle and goes back one like that. We're going to go and place down two barrier blocks like so. Stone buttons on the sides of these blocks. And then coming down from the stone slab we're going to place down a iron bar just like that. And once you have that all complete there, that is going to complete the crane. And with that, that's going to complete my tutorial here for uh, the IJN Shoikaku Shoikaku class aircraft carrier. Pretty long tutorial, I know, um, but really nice looking carrier. Lots of great detail in it. And, um, you know, hopefully uh, wasn't too much of a uh, hardship for you guys. But definitely when you have it built, it looks really great. It's going to make a great addition to your um, your worlds and all that stuff as a nice uh, Japanese uh, 
main uh, fleet carrier. Anyways, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys do end up using this design, do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This has been anything from a silent build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does appear any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Koya for making this tutorial possible. And um, with that, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.